UC San Diego leaders say hope for addressing climate change lies in their students. So I think if you care about yourself and others, you know, then you should care about the science concerning this earth and where we are right now. Freshman Mutale Malama is in a class called The Oceans. It covers everything from ocean chemistry to marine biology. Professor Sarah Gilley says they doubled the size of the class this fall to help students meet the climate change requirement. Well, I think the really exciting thing about teaching a course like SIO 30, The Oceans, is that it's reaching students at a point when they're still discovering who they are. Gilley was part of the group that developed the requirement. But not all of them were scientists like her. The people on the committee were from every possible discipline. And I think the most vocal and powerful people were not necessarily climate scientists. They were people from arts and humanities, from literature, from social science. Um, and um, they really understand that climate change is not simply a scientific problem. It's a scientific fact, but it is actually a social problem. It's a political problem. It's a cultural problem. The committee considered requiring all students to take the same class. Instead, they wanted to show that climate change is connected to all fields of study. We don't want a whole class to say, things are bad, see you later. I think that's what we've done to this generation, right? We've, we've left this generation in kind of a bad place. And instead, the faculty realized that what we want is to give this, this generation, the next generation, all the tools to combat climate change. There are more than 40 classes that meet the requirement. Scripps Institution of Oceanography offers several of them. Others are in departments like urban planning, anthropology, and economics. Katie Anastas, KPBS News.